How's it going everyone? It's your boy Dak908 aka the Dig Dug himself yours truly and ladies and gents we have finally made it. It took us forever. It's like September. The game came out in like July but we finally made it to Granola Bar. That's what I'm calling this monster. You have to deal with it. That's what I've been calling this monster since I played it in Cross. I never cared for its name. You know its name. I don't. It's like Narc Sauce or something like that. And it was like Ostagaloa or something like that in Cross, whatever. I don't care. His name is Granola Bar. He makes Milkman armor and he makes Blue WD armor. Anyway, that's that's that, that's me. That's me. You can hate me all day. I want you to. Please hate the way I say the names of these monsters. Please. It gives me energy. Regardless, we're gonna talk about how to fight this guy because that's the only thing that's really important. And if you care about the way the monster name is pronounced, then you should probably be watching this damn video because it's about information. You already know the monster's name. That's why you came here. I mean, it's spelled correctly on the video. Weakness. Check it out. So when when you go to fight this guy, he's honestly only weak to two things: fire and dragon. Uh, more dragon than that of fire. Dra uh, excuse me. Yeah, more dragon than that of fire. Fire can get out within a pinch. Actually, in the pinches of pinches, you can use thunder. But I I totally yo. If you're in that much of a pinch, you should probably just go and make a fire weapon or a dragon weapon or something like that. Uh, because I think Thunder only has like one hit zone that's actually good for it. I think it's uh, it's actually a pretty good hit zone actually. If I'm not mistaken, it's the same. It's the arms that you have to hit, and uh, that's good. So let's talk about actually how to fight this guy really quick. We will get to the armors and the weapons and whatnot. So let's get to that first because we don't have a lot of time. In order to fight this monster, a lot of people that come here they get a little bit confused. It's like, yo, what do I hit? For starters, do not hit the body. The body is very hard. You're, you're gonna bounce off the body unless you have mind's eye, okay? Hit these tentacle things, these, these things that's all flailing around, hit those, okay? Hit those. Hit them as often as you can. They will, um, it's actually what you're supposed to be hitting. Once you, like, knock the bone off of both of them, the monster stuff will, will topple over, so to speak, and, uh, you can uh, go for his weak spot. Now, his weak spot is this cut on his back. You'll see me actually attack it here in a, in a little bit, but... Uh, you're really gonna want to attack that with as much dragon as you possibly can uh, because that's that's his number one weakness And it's like super weak right there on the weak spot when you hit him like that now Another another way to actually hit this weak spot is when you topple the monster again And you're able to actually mine off his back that is correct You can mine off of his back some people mine off his back because it's actually a really high chance of getting his orb Like his gem if you will uh, it's a 15% chance of actually mining off his back But other people's like yo, let's get the damage in Okay, so let's talk about a, little, a couple of things this, this guy does in terms of his, like his, you know, his attacks and whatnot. So when he's in this particular phase, this is a phase. When he's in this phase, he will just you know slap you with his hands and or his little, I, I guess you call them hands or whatever. He has two of them. He'll slap you with those. He'll try to run you over. You know, standard you know part of the course. You know, monster hunting. That's the weakness right there I was talking about. But um, when he goes to phase two. That's when he actually he changed it up a little bit. He can uh, go from spitting this blue gunk at you. Uh, he'll spit the blue gunk, or in certain cases, like in phase two, the blue gunk will forever come from his face. If you're stuck in the blue gunk mist, that's what I'm going to call it, you take serious red health damage. Like, like double poison red health damage, okay? It goes down like that quickly. Also, when you're covered in the blue gunk, if you roll, you're going to get covered in all the bones and stuff that's on the ground. Uh, so, it's kind of like an adhesive, if you will. And that adhesive, it's actually mucus, not thinking about it. And that adhesive will actually, you know, coat you in the, you know, the bones and stuff on the ground. You have to, like, mash the buttons to get out of it. If you have a cleanser, you can get out of it quicker. Oh, another thing that you'll probably notice when you fight this guy is that when you, when you fight him, he'll drop some shinies. These shinies are not like monster part shinies, they're actually ballista shinies. So like you can pick up ballistas off the ground, they range from one ballista to two ballistas to three to four ballistas, I think there's a five ballista. It was a lot more common to actually find that in Cross, not as common to find it in, uh, uh, excuse me, Generations. Because in Cross, I was come across like five ballistas, like five time ballistas off of one shiny, uh, all the time. But it's it's useful. The ballistas I normally pick him up to fight it when he's out of range because he does swim out in the water, whatever. I can't really hit him, so I'll use the ballista to hit him. I recommend you kind of do the same thing. You can hit him with the one shot binder as well to keep his body pinned down so that way you can attack his little his tentacle hand things, which is cool. I mean, if you don't want to hit the weak spot, you can totally just go for the uh, your little hands as well because remember you have to break the bones off of those so that way you can get him to topple over and whatnot. Okay, now they've filled you up with a little information in terms of actually how to fight this guy and what he does. Let's actually make transition over to the armors and the weapons and whatnot. Now, his armor, 
his main he has two armors his main armor which i call milkman armor is skeletal armor milkman bones milk bones calcium so you see where i'm going with this anyway his that armor is his main armor because it's very reminiscent to him he actually has a pretty cup he has a couple of really good skills on it but some people might not think so his skills are crisis and furor and he has recovery down too which okay let me break it to you like this crisis allows you to actually get a boost or an attack bonus if you have a abnormal effect on you meaning you know something like you know a blight or like bubbles things like that and Fuhrer allows you to have an attack bonus if you have red health now recovery speed down two allows your your red health to not recover as fast and if you take that skill with Fuhrer you're looking at a pretty good attack bonus because your attack is going to stay up because you're going to continue to have that red health for a long time Anyway, now we transition over to this monster's phase two. Oh wait, okay, let me bring down the phase two real quick. In phase two, his hands, they can go under the ground and come up with different properties. One of those properties is the blast, which I got card as just a second ago. Another one of those properties is fire, and another one is thunder. Each of these things are a little bit different. The thunder one is actually the coolest. It kind of reminds me of the laggy, the laggy balls where he'll throw them out on the ground and they like arc lightning together. That's kind of what he'll do, which is pretty decent. Watch out for that. Uh, but his other armor, his other armor is actually not that good. Uh, it's blue. It's the Azure armor, if you will. And the main thing about it is that it's kind of like the counter to it, in a sense. It has Chance, which is Trump card, Clear Mind, uh, you know, Insight. So it allows you to, you know, boost your, your, your arch quicker. I mean, Trump card and, you know, Insight, that's actually not, those aren't two bad skills to have together. But um, a lot of people actually go for the other. But again, him being, you know, what he is, an Elder Dragon, he's one of the few Elder Dragons who actually have really good, you know, armors as of late. His weapons, though, are a different story. The Milkman weapons that ha have incredibly high attack but exceedingly low affinity. Whereas the Azure armor has pretty decent attack, massive amounts of blue sharpness, and very, very little elements. So it's really up to you. And this goes for all the weapons because the Elder Dragons have a weapon in every category. So it goes to you if you're going to use any of the weapons or not. But that's just that's just how it is. But when fighting this guy, I recommend you come in here with whatever you're comfortable with. He's not impossible. Sword and shield, maybe not the, the dopest of choices. I don't know. I mean, you could probably get away with it if you're really comfortable with it. But I totally recommend coming here with whatever it is that you're comfortable with to fight the guy. That's pretty much what I can say about that. Um, styles don't necessarily matter. I mean, it really doesn't. Aerial, I, I probably wouldn't do it because you can't mount the guy. So if you are nice with a depth, run that. That's fine too. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much all, other, all there is to talk about with this guy. He does have technically three phases. We did this guy way too quickly and we didn't get to that third phase. His third phase is just him in phase two angry. The, the whole ground and everything goes really blue. And he actually shoots like dragon beams, like dragon beams from his hands. Um, he also has this form where he'll shoot those same dragon beams from his mouth. It takes a while to charge. But if he hits you with that, that is a one shot kill no matter what. Do not get hit fr with the dragon beam from his direct from his mouth. You'll see it come off his death animation right here. He'll do that and he'll hit you with that. Boom! That's a one hit kill. If he hits with the dragon beam from his hands, it's not so much. You just take a lot of dragon damage. It's, it's not a problem. I really wish I could have sh shown you guys that shot. It would have helped you guys a lot more. But um, my killer team was too killer and we killed it like hella quick. So that's that. Uh, hopefully you guys, you know, found some information and it's relatively helpful. If you didn't, I apologize. And I will probably make a part two to this. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, if you really want it, I can, like, emphasize it some more. There's really not much else to talk about except for, like, that other phase. I didn't really get too much of a chance to talk about because I couldn't really show you. Because I'd rather show you and tell you as opposed to just tell you with no showing. You feel me? Right. Anyway, everyone. All we have left now is deviance and, like... Uh, Elder Dragons and red not red pff, gold and silver Rathalos or whatever anyway uh, a couple more videos to go through for these monster ones we're gonna do the deviants uh, real soon I'm gonna do the Elder Dragons before the deviants because I want to try a different format for the deviants I'm gonna try really hard to make that format really nice and if it's a really nice format and you guys like it it'll make me very happy I'm trying to have higher production values for these videos and I'm gonna test it out on the deviants with well, that being said it's been your boy Dak908 aka the dig dug himself yours truly you all have a wonderful day and as always may the desire sensor forever be in your favor